Ass donkey mule. <laughs> Stiley William Hayward DD. Psalm 32 verse 9. Be ye not as the horse, or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. This study examines the terms ass, donkey, and mule. From current Bible translations and the King James 1611 AV Bible. It seems that certain Christians, academicians, and revisionists are reluctant to use the word ass. The ass. The name ass is derived from the Latin phrase asinus, asinis, which explicitly relates to this animal. From Middle English assi, from Old English assa, back formed from asin, she ass, from Celtic, compare Old Irish asin, Old Cornish asin, from Latin asinus. Replaced Old English esol, from Proto-West Germanic asterisk asal, also a loan word from the same Latin word. Together with Greek onos it is conjectured to be from a language of Asia Minor, compare Sumerian on Su. The initial vowel of the English word might be by influence of Celtic forms, Irish and Gaelic asal, from Old Celtic asterisk as s in donkey. In Romanic tongues the Latin word has become Italian asino, Spanish asno, Old French asni, French ain. Familiar term for an ass, 1785, also donkey, donkey, originally slang or dialectal, of uncertain origin. Perhaps a diminutive from dun dull gray brown, from Middle English donned, past participle of donan to lose color, fade, from Old English dunian. Compare dunning, name of a, dun, horse, mid 14 c, and c dun, adj. The form perhaps was influenced by monkey. Or perhaps it is from a familiar form of the proper name Duncan applied to an animal, compare Dobbin. The older English word was ass, n.1. Applied to stupid, obstinate, or wrong-headed persons by 1840. In mechanics, used of small or supplementary apparatus from mid-19c. Donkey engine, donkey pump, etc. Short form dank is by 1916. Solid ungulate quadruped beast of burden of the horse kind, but smaller and with long ears and a short mane, native to Southwest Asia, Old English Assa, Old Northumbrian Assal, Assault, he ass. The English word is cognate with Old Saxon Essel, Dutch Essel, Old High German Essel, German Essel, Gothic Asilis, and, beyond Germanic, Lithuanian Asilas, Old Church Slavonic Assel, Russian Asilu, etc. All probably are ultimately from Latin asinus. Devon says the form of asinus suggests it was a loanword into Latin, and adds, most i.e. words for ass are loanwords. In familiar use, the name ass is now to a great extent superseded by donkey, in Scotland cuddy, but ass is always used in the language of scripture, natural history, proverb, and fable, also, in ordinary use, in Ireland. OED any of several species of horse-like animals, especially equus asinus, the domesticated of which are used as beasts of burden. Synonym, donkey. The Bible mentions ass. The King James 1611 AV. 90 times in 80 verses. Three times, Numbers 22-23. Old Testament, 72 verses. New Testament, 8 verses. Matthew, Luke, John, and 2 Peter. The Bible mentions asses. The King James 1611 AV. 64 times in 60 verses. Twice in Genesis 12 16, 45 colon 23, 1 Sam 9 colon 3, and 10 colon 2. No New Testament references. The King James 1611 Bible does not mention donkey nor donkeys. The family equity, a.k.e.d., also known as the horse family. It's more difficult to figure out where the name donkey came from, but one popular explanation is that it's a combination of done referring to the muted gray color, and the suffix ky, which means little. Another explanation is that it gets its name from the Spanish word don, which means lord. 
Donkeys and horses are related since they belong to the same genus. It's difficult to say who came first, but the language may provide some insight. This is because another likely root of the word is donkey, which means little gray horse in Middle English. Donkeys all have long tails and ears, yet not all of them look alike. Due to diverse breeding histories all over the world, there are many diverse types and breeds of donkey. Domestic donkeys are referred to as asses or donkeys, whereas wild asses are rarely referred to as donkeys. Even though donkeys have been domesticated, wild asses still exist. African wild ass. The Onager, Onager. The Kiang, Kian. Aquas, AK Quest, is the only order left in this family, which was originally highly diversified. Horses, zebras, and donkeys are all members of this genus of mammals. Although some have attempted to domesticate zebras, they have never been genuinely tamed. Horses and donkeys, on the other hand, have been tamed for millennia. They have been used in farming, transport, industry, sport, military campaigns, and much more. People have been transported by both donkeys and horses, although donkeys have grown more linked with transporting supplies or pulling machines. Some people could still refer to a donkey as a burro. Knowing a little Spanish will help you define burro. Burro is a Spanish word that means donkey and is often used in Mexico, where these animals are common, particularly as pack animals. However, in Mexico's northern neighbor, the United States, the term burro is frequently used. The name burro is more precise in that it refers to a tiny donkey there. By the way, the Mexican meal burrito is named after the donkey. A burrito literally translates to small donkey and is most likely a reference to the fact that they are so crammed with components that they resemble a donkey carrying luggage. Although the term donkey is now the most commonly used in English, it was not always so. Formerly, they were commonly referred to as an ass. As a result, referring to an ass or a donkey refers to the same animal. They are interchangeable. Equus africanus asinus. Although it is commonly referred to as an ass, this is the scientific name for a donkey. Prior to the early 20th century, this was more common. A nice example can be found in several Bible translations. A dot the animal is referred to as asses in the King James Version of the 17th century. B dot the New International Version of the 20th century refers to them as donkeys. The father of this animal is a donkey, while the mother is a horse. A mule cannot be a father or a mother except in exceptional circumstances. A mule's parents are usually always a donkey and a horse. When the father is a horse and the mother is a donkey, the baby is known as a hinny, despite its mule-like appearance. What is a mule? You may have heard someone inquire. Or even calling a donkey a mule. This would be incorrect from a technical standpoint. When a donkey or an ass, Equus africanus asinus, crosses with a horse, the following hybrids emerge. The offspring of a male donkey, a jack, and a female horse, a mare, is referred to as a mule. A hinny is not the same as a donkey or an ass. It's the offspring of a female donkey, a jenny, and a male horse, stallion. Genealogically, it is more difficult to reproduce a hinny in comparison to a mule. The Bible mentions mule. The King James 1611 AV. Nine times in seven verses. Three times in 2 Samuel 18 verse 9. 1 Kings, 3 verses. 2 Samuel, 2 verses. Psalms, 1 verse. Zechariah, 1 verse. The Bible mentions mules. The King James 16 11 AV. 12 times in 12 verses. Genesis, 2 Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Isaiah, and Ezekiel, 1 verse each. 1st Kings and Esther, 2 verses each. They are similar in size to horses, but have larger heads, longer ears, tufted tails, and smaller hooves.
They are more stable and work at a slower pace than horses. In reality, they are obstinate and cannot be rushed. Mules are widely used around the world, particularly in Asia and portions of Europe, where they begin light labor at three years old and progress to heavier loads two years later. Over mountain trails, they make great load animals. The U.S. Army utilized thousands of these before modern machinery was invented. I've also heard the term jackass applied to donkeys. The origins are actually quite straightforward. It has to do with the names that male and female donkeys are given. Some equestrian animals have universal names, while others have species-specific names. For example, all female equines are referred to as mares, whereas female donkeys are referred to as jennies. Male and female donkeys, as well as their young, have the following names. A male donkey is called a jack. A female donkey is called a jenny. A female donkey who is ready to breed is referred to as a broodmare, as is a female horse in this position. A young donkey is called a foal, as is a young horse. The term jackass, therefore, simply means a male donkey. It is, nevertheless, a kind of repetitive terminology. This is due to the fact that only male donkeys are referred to as jacks. You couldn't have a jack horse because a stallion is a male horse. While it is currently often used as an insult against those of low intelligence or those who indulge in foolish behavior, it has a long history. Characteristics: Asses, donkeys, and mules, with few exceptions, are stubborn and insist on doing things their own way. Because of this, as well as the need to employ a whip with them and some horses, we are warned not to be like them in the first Bible verse. The King James 16:11 AV Bible. Ass 90 times in 80 verses. Asses 64 times in 60 verses. Donkey 0. Donkeys 0. Mule 9 times in 7 verses. Mules 12 times in 12 verses. Ass and donkey 0. The King James 16:11 AV Bible. Zechariah 14 verse 15 And so shall be the plague of the horse, of the mule, of the camel, and of the ass, and of all the beasts that shall be in these tents, as this plague. Clearly a difference ass slash mule. NKJV Such also shall be the plague on the horse and the mule, on the camel and NIV a similar plague will strike the horses and mules, the camels and donkeys, and all the animals in those camps. ESV And a plague like this plague shall fall on the horses, the mules, the camels, the donkeys, and whatever beasts may be in those camps. ASV And so shall be the plague of the horse, of the mule, of the camel, and of the ass, and of all the beasts that shall be in those camps, as that plague. No one knows for sure when the word donkey first arose. Some scholars assume that it is derived from the Latin word asinus. There is no perfect translation, but there is a more unclear description, a small animal that looks like a horse and stands firmly on its hoofs, occasionally roaring. However, the etymology of the word donkey can be traced back to Turkic languages. And that perfectly describes that animal, which many people refer to as an ass. According to biologists, the ass had Somali antecedents, and the animal has been utilized for economic purposes since then. A jack is a male donkey or ass, a jenny or jennet is a female donkey, and a foal is a baby donkey. Jack donkeys are frequently used to breed with female horses to generate mules. A hinny is a biological reciprocal of a mule born to a stallion and a jenny as parents. Dictionary.com 1. Ass A long-eared, slow, patient, sure-footed domesticated mammal, equus asinus, related to the horse, used chiefly as a beast of burden. B. Also called wild ass an African wild ass, Kiang, Onager, or any of their subspecies. C. A stupid, foolish, or stubborn person.
2. Donkey. A. The domestic ass, Equus asinus. B. Since 1874, a representation of this animal as the emblem of the U.S. Democratic Party. C. A stupid, silly, or obstinate person. D. A woodworking apparatus consisting of a clamping frame and saw, used for cutting marquetry veneers. 3. Donkey. A. Familiar term for an ass, 1785. Also donkey, donkey, originally slang or dialectal, of uncertain origin. Perhaps a diminutive from dun dull gray brown, from Middle English donned, past participle of donan to lose color, fade, from Old English dunian. Compare dunning, name of a, dun, horse, mid 14c, and c dun, adj. The form perhaps was influenced by monkey. b. Or perhaps it is from a familiar form of the proper name Duncan applied to an animal, compare Dobbin. The older English word was ass, n.1. Applied to stupid, obstinate, or wrong-headed persons by 1840. In mechanics, used of small or supplementary apparatus from mid-19c. Donkey engine, donkey pump, etc. Short form Denk is by 1916. So the KJB uses the Old English ass and the modern Bibles use donkey. Jeremiah 6.16 Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Take the Old English. Ass over modern. Donkey according to the Bible. Asses and mules. KJB. Genesis 36 verse 24 And these are the children of Zibion, both Aja and Anna. This was that Anna that found the mules in the wilderness, as he fed the asses of Zibion his father. ASV And these are the children of Zibion, Aya and Anna. This is Anna who found the hot springs in the wilderness, as he fed the asses of Zibion his father. ESV These are the sons of Zibion, Aya and Anna. He is the Anna who found the hot springs in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of Zibion his father. N.I.V. The sons of Zibion, Aya and Anna. This is the Anna who discovered the hot springs in the desert while he was grazing the donkeys of his father Zibion. N.K.J.V. These were the sons of Zibion, both Aja and Anna. This was the Anna who found the water in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of his father Zibion. The King James Bible says, Asses. The modern Bibles say, hot springs, and the water. Tell me are hot springs and asses the same? Surely, no one has thought to ride a hot spring. Modern Bibles Mule NIV, 142 references to mule. New American Standard Version, 140 references to mule. New Living Translation, 147 references to mule. New Life Translation, 155 references to mule. New King James Version, 140 references to mule. Not even, not even the modern Bibles agree with each other. References Animal Wise This has been an essay by